I am so excited to do this video today because it is a Halloween haul. Yes, my first official one. Probably might be everything that I get. I'm still out on the hunt for this pumpkin jar and I don't really see myself getting much more than what I already have. It's just that pumpkin jar, you know? There's also uh, some ceramic cats that I've seen in some people's home good videos too. But yeah, let's get started. Um, I'm gonna start with Ross. So I saw this pillow and I thought it was so perfect. The day of the dead, skelly weenie dogs. And I don't really expect to buy pillows a lot right now because they're very pricey. I know Jay the Libra went on a whole rant about it, but this one was 10 bucks. And so I had to have it. <laughs> Look at that. So like the doggies themselves are embroidered. This border on here is not, it's just a, like a print. There's nothing on the backside. Um, and it has this like red rim going around it. 10 bucks, I love it. And it's not like teeny tiny either, it's a good size. All right, so the next thing I got from Ross is this sugar skull jar with a fancy little lady hat. I love her so much. I've seen other ones with different hats in other people's videos, but I like the lady the most. Oh my God, that is so washed out. Okay, there we go. Um, and it is a lovely jar and it's weird. Okay, let's see how much was this? Seven bucks. They had two of these with the jar lid and then they had one where the hat was attached, but it was more expensive. I don't get it, but I'm very happy with my jar lady. All right, so the final thing I got at Ross was this blanket. It's just a throw blanket. Nice plush throw blanket. I'm honestly always on the hunt for throw blankets. And this one isn't even particularly Halloween. It's just like this beautiful red and black damask, but it's by a brand called Haunted Manor. Stop being washed out. It was $9. Yeah, I'm excited. Okay, so the next store I'm moving on to is Hallmark. I got um, one of these keepsake ornaments. It's the Vulture. Yeah, it just says Spooky Vulture. So I guess they have like a punch card that you can get for these keepsake ornaments. So the woman working there was demonstrating these other Nightmare Before Christmas ornaments that you can like connect them all together and they'll like recite dialogue from the movie back to each other. And they're all like on a little timer cue, you know, program thing and they also had a like a star wars tree topper that talked to all these other star wars ornaments and like they she's yeah and like they basically like play out the movie but i just settled for my little humble ornament that's all i really went in there for was my vulture because i love anything vulture so yeah so not only do they have a punch card for these keepsake ornaments but like if you sign up for their like store card you get one free hallmark card a month so that's cool And it's not really Halloween, but I got like a little Cruella de Vil that was just hanging out there. I sort of collect Cruellas. I know I've seen that mug that's uh, at like Mar Marshall's Home Goods and all those stores. I liked it at first, but on the back of it, it says fashion above all or something like that. And I wasn't into that, but I do like a little plushy moment. Next up is Marshall's and I, I really scored. Okay, so this one particular Marshall's location was really just killing it with the hand towels. Um, I had to like put some back. <laughs> they had the, like I'm a sucker for anything that's like cats and Halloween costumes type of thing. So. <laughs> They had two sets of towels that were cats in Halloween costumes. I resisted though, but I did love these because they're super plush. And it's a uh, home, Caro home, something like that. And it's 10 bucks for, how many are there? One, there's three towels and they're nice and plush. And like this year, I've been a really big fan of predominantly black things with these pops of orange in them. So you got some jack-o'-lanterns, you got some uh, witch silhouettes. What's this one? Oh, eyeballs, I love that one. That's so cute, oh. I made the right choice as far as the towels. <music> 
Also, another area where Marshall's got me are the socks. This is a set of two socks. Um, that's $4 for the set. And it's Casper. He got, oh, here we go. Mummy Casper. And the orange ones are just Casper's head and it says boo. And then I got these uh, weenie dog socks. <laughs> That's the other thing, the weenie dogs in Halloween costumes. This is a set, okay, this is $7 for a set of uh, four pairs. So you got weenie dogs in costumes on black. We need dogs in costume on gray. In between, you have these beautiful orange ones, which I really love. And then these uh, gray ones that are striped. And can you guess what it is by looking at the shape of it? Ooh. Oh man, they wrapped this really well. They taped it and everything. I almost don't want to unwrap it because I'm going to move soon. <laughs> I'm going to have to rewrap it <laughs> in order to move. Did you guess right? Did ya? This is my first Ray Dunn mug. Not my first Ray Dunn piece quite yet. I did buy something at another Marshalls that I will show here in a minute. Um, but this is the first mug. It has been a journey, me and the Ray Dunn mugs this season. I was at one home goods location and they had a really cool uh, matte black one that said meow in orange. And I'm looking at it, I'm like, I feel like this mug needs its ears at least. So I didn't get that mug. But, but then I went to another home goods location where I found a two mug set and they both had cat toppers on them. One said, one said scaredy cat and the other one said meow. I almost got them. <laughs> I did, I'll show a picture of them here right now. I was so close to getting them. I had to put them back on the shelf and walk away. It was such a painful goodbye. It was just like this dramatic like, I'll never let go. I love them, but they're just not quite there yet. And I'm like, okay, the perfect Ray Dunn mug for me would be the matte black with orange meow on it with the topper. And also just the one mug by itself. I don't need a set of two of them, but the ones with the cat toppers, yeah, it was a box that had two of them and they were shiny and there was no orange to be found. I'm waiting for that special mug. <laughs> But I'm glad I found this one. And there was actually quite a few of them to choose from and they were like all on display. So it wasn't like this hidden, difficult to find item. Uh, word of advice on the Ray Dunn mugs. If you're an animal lover, look in the pet section cause that's where I found all the cat mugs. Meow and the kitty topper ones. Pet section, yep. So yeah, I got my first Ray Dunn mug and it's so cute and I can't wait to have some like the hot cocoa out of it or something. Oh man, I hope I can find those pumpkin flavored marshmallows this year. That melted in a hot chocolate is so perfect. So speaking of Ray Dunn pet stuff, I got this uh, orange bowl, it says Boo on it. I got two of them for my cat. And I call her Boo Boo all the time, so. It's like, they just literally have her name on it. <laughs> and so when you see them right next to each other, they'll be Boo Boo. And it'll be so cute. I'm so happy. This is my first Ray Dunn stuff, the food bowls. So now both me and my cat get, get to have our first Ray Dunn pieces. All right, and that is everything from Marshalls. So the next store is Dollar Tree. And all I got were these little pumpkin string lights. I got two of them. I missed out on my metal corn steaks. So bummed. I should have grabbed them that day that I was filming the decor hunting video. I was just like so excited to see all the Halloween stuff. I just want to film it all. I should have grabbed a couple of those corn steaks. I want them. Like I went back for those more than the lights. Oh well, hopefully, hopefully I can still find them. I'm not done looking yet. <laughs> and that's all I have from Dollar Tree so far. So next up we have 99 cents only. So earlier I mentioned how much I love vultures and I finally got a vulture skeleton. I really want to grow my like animal skeleton collection. Right now I just have this and like a frog I got at Lowe's last year. The frog from at home this year is better. Oh. I have something from at home. I only got one thing from at home. I'll get to that later. Okay, so this is uh, $2.49 for this guy. So literally in the same plaza as where I got this, there is a Michaels and they have this exact same vulture, same shape, same paint job, same quality and everything for like 
it was like 15 to 20 bucks. Like <laughs> I was, it was crazy when I saw it. I'm like, I literally just bought this guy for two and a half bucks, literally in the same plaza, like same shopping center. I thought that was crazy. <laughs> but yeah, I love him. I don't know what to call him yet. I'm going to eat your corpse. All right, so next I got a pair of oven mitts. Well, they sell them individually, so it's not really a pair since they're the same hand. Um, I didn't really look to see if they had the other hand, but I don't care. I just wanted some Halloween oven mitts and they're a black and orange stripe on one side, plain orange on the other side. Um, now some of these tags from the 99 cent store says only at the 99 cent store, then there's no price. So I'm wondering if they're just 99 cents, if that's what that means. I got this kitty tumbler. I'm not super into like the whole tumbler thing. I find that I don't have much of a use for them, but I love this one. Orange with black cats and a little kitty dome hat and a straw. I'm excited to use this. I'm excited to put a smoothie in here or something, you know drinks. So I had mentioned in my Halloween content creators video about how this super nice lady at 99 cents was helping me find my mugs and she found them because like the ones that I got were not even on the shelf yet and she's like what are you looking for? I'm just like oh, I'm just looking at Halloween store. I'm just looking for a certain mug. She's like oh well I'm putting these out right now. So yeah she like would go to the back and like because they have the picture of the mug on the outside of the boxes that they get shipped in. So she's like okay I can, I can go find that one. Let me I'll be right back. So yeah I was hanging out in the Halloween aisle for a while at 99 cents only and so I got my little kitty shaped bug. It's black and orange. Like I said I'm into the predominantly black with pops of orange thing this year. I love just about anything kitty shaped. The paint jobs are a little primitive but you know for two bucks, I'm not complaining. Uh, the next mug I got was the jack-o'-lantern shaped one. Again, it's not as good a quality as the one from at home. I didn't get to, I didn't see the one from at home, but this is good enough for me. Look at him, he's so cute. $1.99, two bucks. And this was like the mug I was looking for. This jack-o'-lantern face. And from what I've seen in videos, there's like a blue monster kind of a mug like this and also a Frankenstein's monster green one. It's such a cute little face. There's a lot of orange ceramic going on this year for the things I purchased anyway. That's it for 99 cents. Okay, so since I haven't seen that home goods pumpkin jar, the striped one that I'm obsessed with, and I honestly don't know if I will see it this year, but I feel like this is a good second place kind of a thing. It's not a jar, but I just love the screaming black and orange boldness. 17 bucks. Is this the most expensive thing I've got yet? I'm so happy with it though. They had another, they had one that was a black and white checkered pumpkin with a gold stem. So yeah, I thought that was a pretty good find. One more thing that I got at Tuesday morning was this pumpkin, more of a fall decor, obviously. Um, and I'm doing, gonna do a close up on it. First of all, it's ceramic or something. It's really nice. It is $10 and it's just, and I'll do a close up on it. Just, it's so beautiful. Just the colors and the, like the pattern and everything in there. It's just divine. Like I could stare at this thing forever. I just get lost in it like, whoa. Okay, so up next we have Big Lots. So I really wanted that kind of Adam's Family-esque lamp that they had there. That was like the little thing hand with like the Uncle Fester light bulb on top of it. It looked like some like mad scientist kind of thing. I was so disappointed in the quality when I finally saw it in person. I, I couldn't, like that was another painful goodbye. Like I had to walk away from that because it's just, if it was just maybe five bucks or something, I probably would have grabbed it. But for I think like 20 or something, nope. Another thing I love from Big Lots this year is that lady in the rocking chair. <laughs> I think a lot of people seem to be either scared by her or maybe just think she's obnoxious. I think she's kind of adorable and hilarious. <laughs> and I like her long like salt and pepper hair. And I just like her like rocking chair and her just like screaming, hey you kids get off my lawn or whatever. But the little ornery witch lady. <laughs> I didn't get her. Kind of wondering if I should go back. She was 
25 bucks. And that's why I didn't get her, just because I was like, hmm, do I want to spend that money? But one thing I did get from Big Lots is kitty cat candy dish. Oh my God. And it's big. It's like a good size. Um, I have the like the bat one with the purple mouth that they had at Target dollar spot last couple of years, I think. But yeah, like again, black and orange, kitty cat. Are we noticing any themes here? <laughs> Oh my god, I love it so much. Even the girl ringing me up was like, oh, this is so cool. So yeah, very happy with that. And then <laughs> just as a little last minute thing, it's a little dog toy. <laughs> I just got it for me. <laughs> I'm not giving it to any dog, but it's a little witch weenie. Oh, it's so cute. How much is this? $2.99. Okay, so that's a $3 little doggy toy, little witch weenie. The kitty cat bowl is $6. The weenie can just hang out in there. <laughs> it's a, it's a catty dog world. <laughs> so Big Lots has become kind of like my go-to for fragrance, like home fragrances, candles, sprays. My particular location has an end cap that has like all my favorites on it. So I got this uh, aerosol spray. It's a concentrated room spray and it's $3, it's pumpkin pie, and it's just like a Big Lots brand. So, but they do have a candle of this pumpkin pie flavor and it's really good. It is such a beautiful, spicy pumpkin smell that's kind of sweet. It reminds me of this candle that Bath & Body Works had eons ago called Pumpkin Patch. Oh, I smell that, it smells so $3 bigger and cheaper than the ones at Bath & Body Works and like the concentration's actually pretty good because sometimes the non Bath & Body Works just don't permeate the room the way you want to. This one gets the job done. So now I have a candle that is pumpkin cinnamon cookie. It's a single wick candle in a glass jar. Mmm, it was $5? Yes, $5. Oh man, so while I was at this end cap um, choosing my scents, there was a woman behind me who broke a mirror. Like one of the mirrors I have for sale in the store, like she was looking through the mirrors and a couple of them like just totally fell over onto the floor. You heard the breaking sound and it was like right behind me. So I'm like, oh my God. Oh man, I felt bad for her. You could tell she was just like mortified that she had actually done that. The employee uh, who rung me up later on actually like ran up and was like, oh my God, no, 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 don't, don't cut yourself. And like, I was telling her because she was trying to lift the mirror. I'm just like, oh my God, please don't hurt yourself. Oh, the woman's just apologizing. And she's like, I swear I never do this. Oh, and the, the employee was so nice to her. She's like, no, it's okay. Like we, everyone has accidents, it's fine. I just don't want anyone to get hurt. So uh, it was quite the event at Big Lots for that one trip. Another thing that was funny about that trip to Big Lots is I saw I saw a funny vanity plate, license plate in the parking lot. And I'm not gonna say what it is because that's somebody's personal information, even though like they made it something that was easy to read. I'm just gonna say it was a Seinfeld soup reference. <laughs> I thought that was amazing. <laughs> so that's it for Big Lots, what's next? Okay, so I have two more stores. Okay, so my next item is from At Home. It's the only thing I got from there. I wanted the toad with the butterfly on its back. They didn't have it, but I dug. I This hedgehog was hard to find. Like I was like digging. It was behind it. Look at his cute little face, little pointy face. And then there's been a few animals and there's been several like little fall animals this year that have like the leaves and all over their back, especially hedgehogs. Oh my God, look, look at his little feet. Aww. Sometimes I think I want a hedgehog for a pet. You know, you see the pictures of you know people holding them. <laughs> yeah, so I got my little hedgehog. I didn't get the toad. I wanted it because I got a new car. Well, you know, a used car, but it's a green Prius and I've been referring to it as toad or the toad or the racing toad. <laughs> That's even more so why I wanted that toad from at home. When I had first started looking at cars, I had found a green Prius on Craigslist and the listing said something like, it's a green toad, but it gets the job done. <laughs> and so like the name stuck. And that's not the Prius I ended up getting. Like it wasn't until months later that I actually found a different green Prius. And I wasn't specifically searching for a green Prius. I was just kind of looking at Priuses in general. So yeah, there's, there's now a whole ongoing toad frog Kermit thing with my car. <laughs> I don't know if I'll go back to at home though, just because there's only one in my area and it's like kind of way the hell out there. And it's a part of town that I don't like being in because of what a cluster fork it is. $8. And last, 
but definitely not least, is Spirit Halloween. I didn't really intend on buying anything when I went in there because I just wanted to go check it out. You know, they just opened, so it's like the shelves are not fully stocked. Apparently they have Cheetos costumes, like flaming Cheetos costumes. You can either dress up as a bag of Cheetos or a Cheeto. Flaming ones. Thing is, when it comes to the flaming Cheetos, I need the limon kind. But they have like throw blankets for Cheetos. It's hilarious. Anyway, anyway, anyway. All right, the first thing I got were these like sort of boy shorts. It's basically underwear. I've got these years ago at Spirit and they, they were pretty good. And now that I'm plus size, I'm gonna try out the plus size. This is more of an experimental purchase. Not crazy about the fact that it's 10 bucks, but I know that Spirit is overpriced. But as someone who used to work at Spirit year after year, I, I know it's overpriced. I just, I was a spoiled employee that never had to pay full price. <laughs> and on November 1st, when everything goes half off, you get your employee discount on top of that. Pretty good deal. So the next thing I got from Spirit are these orange and black nails. There's orange glittery ones and then these orange with black splatter on them. And I'll do a close up, of course. Ooh, it's six bucks for the set. They are press-ons. So I think they already have like the little goop, the little goop of glue on the nail. So you just press it on. I think you should be able to peel that out though, right? Like you should be able to just remove the glue from it and then just use use actual like nail glue. That's what I want to do. They're gorgeous. Now I, like any self-respecting millennial, have loved the movie Hocus Pocus since I can remember. I just haven't really been into any of the merch that I've seen from it. Uh, there was this one pumpkin and gray video where she did a giveaway for an enamel pin that had Danny. She pointed out like, yeah, you never see like Danny on any of the merch. And I was so happy to find this at Spirit. It's a Funko Pop figure of Danny with little Binks and, and even Binks has like the, uh, you know, the Funko Pop shaped head. And I just thought it was so precious. And it says it's a Spirit exclusive. So after I left Spirit, I went next door to Burlington just to see if they had anything. They had some things. I wasn't interested in any of it. The loss prevention lady at the door at Burlington, she saw me walk in with my Spirit bag. She's like, oh, what'd you get? What'd you get? And like, I showed her this. She's like, oh, yes, yes. So yeah, I was just so happy to have Danny with Binks and just adds more to the whole black and orange kitty cat vibes that is apparently my entire life. So that is it for my Halloween haul. Got some Halloween, got some fall, got some Day of the Dead. I'm just stoked by it all. Oh man, just looking out here at the sea of black and orange, it's just, I need that in my life. You know the drill, like the video, hit subscribe if you haven't already, hit the bell for the notifications, and there'll be more Halloween coming your way. Bye-bye. That is gorgeous. That is cool. That is so gorgeous.